Hi, I'm Christy Titus with Hunters Connect. One of the things that I love about hunting is the challenge, having to beat an animal's eyes, ears, and nose. Nothing is more important than using the wind to your advantage if you want to make it into range of an animal. You may be able to trick their eyes and ears, but if an animal catches your scent, it's over. Let's start with the basics. While hunting, our goal is to stay downwind of our quarry and to keep our quarry from getting downwind of us. As our scent carries with the wind, it disperses in a cone, spreading out as it travels. However, this is not always a perfectly straight path. Air behaves as a fluid, and when imagining the wind and terrain, we must think about it flowing over a landscape. Hills, stands of trees, cliffs, valleys, and other land formations will change the direction and the speed of the wind. Not only that, but the temperature affects the atmosphere and creates what are called thermals. Thermals are changes in the airflow due to cool air warming or warm air cooling in the mornings and evenings, for example. Knowing these basic principles allows us to play the wind and use it to our advantage. Keep the wind in your favor so that you don't spook them before you even reach the area. As the day progresses, plan for the consistent changes in the wind. For example, let's say we have a bedded buck mid-slope in the morning and we're approaching from underneath with the wind in our face. As we work in, we notice the sun warming and suddenly the wind begins to shift and is now blowing uphill towards the deer. The morning thermals carried up our scent right to the deer. Next time, we'll be sure to anticipate the daily thermals and adjust our approach. The opposite is true in the evening. As the temperature drops, air cools, and the wind tends to begin flowing downhill. And while you can usually count on these changes in the direction of the wind, it's important to note that while these thermals are changing, winds can be switchy and very erratic. If you spot an animal mid-morning and are planning a stalk, it may be wise to wait until you're sure the wind has stabilized and is blowing from a consistent direction before trying to close the distance. Try to anticipate movements and set up accordingly. And while it may be tempting to sit at camp on an especially windy day, if the wind is in your favor, it provides excellent concealment from wary eyes and ears. Next time you're in the field, keep a close eye on the wind and learn how it behaves in your hunting area. If you check the wind, anticipate changes in it and plan for animal behavior, you just might take home your best trophy yet. Let us know if you have any other tips about the wind in the comments below. Thank you for watching Hunters Connect.